Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about basic control of the glomerular filtration rate. Specifically, I'm going to discuss vasoconstriction of the afferent and efferent arterioles of the nephron and how these affect the glomerular filtration rate. So let's begin by looking at the normal situation. Here I have drawn a glomerulus without the Bowman's capsule and surrounding nephron. Here is the afferent arteriole, and here is the efferent arteriole. And this is a network of capillaries known as the glomerulus. Blood from the renal artery flows in through the afferent arteriole and then it can exit via one of two ways. It can exit as blood via the efferent arteriole, or it can exit as filtrate via the glomerulus. However, remember that filtrate is not actually blood, as it should not contain any blood cells or large proteins, and thus is mainly water and small solutes. So let's look at what happens when we change things around a little. In this situation, the afferent arteriole has been vasoconstricted. This means that less blood is able to enter the glomerulus, and consequently, there will be less blood to leave via the efferent arteriole, and there will also be less blood to be filtered by the glomerulus. Thus, less filtrate will be produced. In this situation, due to arteriolar vasoconstriction, the vascular resistance will increase, and thus there will be less renal blood flow. And due to the reduced pressure in the glomerulus, the glomerular filtration rate will be decreased. Now let's look at the situation where the efferent arteriole is vasoconstricted. Blood is able to enter the glomerulus easily because the afferent arteriole is dilated. However, because the efferent arteriole is constricted, blood can't leave the glomerulus as easily. Therefore, there is a build-up of pressure within the glomerulus. This causes a higher than normal amount of filtrate to be produced. You can imagine that, because the pressure builds up inside the glomerulus, the fluid is being squeezed or pushed through the glomerular walls and thus produces more filtrate. Now just one thing that can be a little confusing. Because there is efferent arteriolar constriction, there is still increased resistance to blood flow. This means that there will be reduced renal blood flow. However, because the constriction is after the glomerulus, not before, there will still be an increased glomerular filtration rate. And that's the way in which afferent and efferent arteriolar vasoconstriction can modify the glomerular filtration rate. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please help us produce more by making a donation at www.handwrittentutorials.com.